It's no, it's no secret that our government system is safe. It's no secret that our Constitution is under attack. It's sick because we, the government is infested with politicians that do not have the will of the people at heart. It's sick from politicians who pander to their base only to get reelected. And it's sick because it's got politicians that only seek wealth and personal gain at our expense. Up to this point, we've been letting them slowly get away with taking away our rights, our freedom, and our money. But that's going to stop because we're not going to take it anymore. I, like you, am a patriot. I love this country. I think it's the greatest country on the earth. I think our Constitution is the greatest document ever written by man and possibly divinely inspired. It was. And I know America is the last bastion for freedom on the planet, and I want our free, I want our children to enjoy this freedom as much as we have. I am a conservative, constitutionalist, Republican, in that order. I believe the First and Second Amendments are the foundations to all of our rights. Without them, the rest of our freedoms grow. I believe, in I believe in smaller government, less taxes, and more freedom for individuals. We must return to our founding father's vision of a limited government with enumerated powers as based on the Constitution. <laughs> federal mandates handed down. We need to start using that power to reject these federal mandates. Yeah. Yeah. I will work tirelessly to maintain those rights on the state level. The state needs to instill the concept of personal responsibility to individuals and corporations. We should encourage success and allow failure for both individuals and corporations. I will oppose any bill that crosses my desk that will increase the size of the government or increase the amount of tax, taxes Hoosiers pay right now. I would also like to start working on abolishing property taxes. No one truly really owns their property. We just rent it from the state. And the state holds it hostage against us. Uh, I don't. I believe there should be less state mandated to over local issues. That's why you. That's why you have a local government is to take care of your local issues. If I had to concentrate on everybody's local issue in seven different counties, there would be no way I could give them good representation. You have to hold on to your local government, and don't let them take that away from you, And because they'll just do it in pieces and bits until everything's mandated out of Indianapolis for what goes on down here. So when they come around wanting to do away with departments and agencies, think twice, because once it's gone, it's gone. I think our tax dollars need to stop supporting organizations that attack our country and our constitution and our freedoms. I believe our schools are no longer institutions of higher learning, but have become institutions of indoctrination. It's the system's fault. We need to overhaul the way we educate our children with new ideas, like student vouchers, homeschooling, our tax money. I believe the state should stop empowering corporations by using laws like intimate domain. Intimate domain should only be used 
for public projects which benefit everyone, not just a select few of the uh, corporations. I also support legislation that would make pork spending standalone <coughs> item bills. No more, no more public pork items with good bills just to get them passed. If it's got pork in it, they're going to have to take it back. Send me a clean bill. I would now like to take my grassroots efforts to the next level. That's the state capitol. I pledge that I will maintain my honesty, my integrity, and my principles while representing the people of Southern Indiana. I have signed the Freedom Makers contract for responsible government. And tyranny happens when the people fear the government. Liberty happens when the government fears the people. I prefer liberty. Let the government fear us. If you believe I'm the type of individual you'd like to send to the state capitol to represent you, I would appreciate your help. I need support for my campaign. I need financial support to help get the word out to other people in my district. But most importantly, I need you to vote for me on November the 2nd so I can go to the state capitol and tell them, we're not going to take this anymore. Good people like Jim up there so we can back each other up because people like us are going to ruffle some feathers and they're going to want us out of there as quick as they can. 